Dearman was started um, three years ago to develop the invention of Peter Dearman. And today we employ 51 people at these new premises in, in Croydon where we have four test cells to develop the technology through to commercial deployment. So a Dearman engine uh, is an expander engine which uh, uses liquid nitrogen or liquid air as a working fluid. That liquid uh, is boiled, turned into a high pressure gas, it expands in the engine. What is special about the engine is that it has a second fluid inside, usually warm water, which keeps the gas warm during that expansion and makes it more efficient. The main show in town is really transport refrigeration. Probably 70% of the company's resources are focused on getting our first product, which is transport refrigeration into the market. Transport refrigeration is a core part of the food chain. Natural fact, 70% of food is either frozen or chilled at production, and it has to be moved to market. We forget about the energy and the impact on the environment. We've developed a technology which delivers clean coal and power and replaces the transport refrigeration unit on the delivery vehicles. These are conventionally uh, driven either off the truck's diesel engine or an auxiliary diesel engine. So you've got all the, the issues of noise uh, and uh, environmental emissions. You can make a truck fridge with a Dearman engine that is zero emissions, uh, scarcely any more costly uh, to purchase and cheaper to run. So at Dearman, the first markets we're looking at are those markets which are seeing very fast growth in demand for transport refrigeration units. China, India, India in particular, these are the markets which are seeing 25% growth in transport refrigeration units. So whilst much of the world is focused on improving the yield of farming, actually the big issue is actually about how do you get it to market? How do you move it to market cleanly and quickly and keep it cold? About 200 million tonnes of food could be saved each year if India and Asia had the same cold chain as the UK. Since the start of the company, we've focused very much on working not just with industry, but also the academic community where you can do fundamental research and also you can do the third party due diligence of the technology. This has been enabled also through the use of Innovate UK where you can partner and bring partnerships in with universities. So at the moment we partner with the University of Birmingham, Leeds, Loughborough and without them I don't think the technology would have advanced as quickly as it has today. One of the benefits that we've had of the Innovate UK funding has been the partnerships that we've been able to develop as it enabled us to start working with a variety of sort of automotive focused partners, partners like Myra, um, people like Air Products from the industrial gas industry. What it does is it gives third parties confidence to engage with you and in particular it also gives confidence to investors who we can bring in to support the company. So we've actually had over ten and a half million pounds of private equity investment and I think that's really been catalyzed very much by the support we've had from Innovate UK because it gives the investors an early and quick due diligence that they know that the government's looked at it, they know that the government's recognised the opportunity. Before we'd started receiving Innovate UK funding, we had about 10 employees, and that, that stimulus of the funding, as well as us hitting our development targets, has resulted in the business scaling up to about 50 people. With Innovate UK, you're on a conveyor belt which can take you through from invention right the way through to market deployment quickly and efficiently.